Hello and welcome to another lecture on vectors. Today we shall be discussing about a scalar triple product. Later we are going to discuss the properties of a scalar triple product and finally we shall conclude this lecture on vectors by discussing some numerical problems that would be based on the scalar triple product. Now so far we have already discussed about the dot product and the vector product and now today we shall be discussing about a scalar triple product. So now starting with the definition of a scalar product for any three given vectors let's say if vector A, vector B and vector C are there then the product of the vector product of vector A and B with the dot product of vector C is known as the scalar triple product and it is denoted as vector A, vector B, vector C or vector A, vector B, vector C. Thus in order to evaluate the scalar triple product first we need to evaluate the vector product of two given vectors and later we are going to find the dot product of the obtained vector product and the third given vector. Thus we can say that for any three given vectors the scalar product of one of the vectors and the cross product of the remaining two is known as the scalar triple product. Next we are going to express the scalar triple product of three given vectors in terms of its component. Thus we can write the scalar triple product of three vectors which is denoted as vector A, vector B, vector C within this matrix is equal to the determinant whose first row consists of the elements of vector A that means a1, A2, A3. The second row consists of the elements of vector B. That means we can write it as B1, B2, B3. And the third row consists of the elements of vector C. Which are C1, C2 and C3. Thus we can find the value of the scalar triple product in terms of its component by the use of this determinant. Now in order to find or have the value of this scalar triple product so that the three non-zero and non-parallel vectors which are A, B and C be coplanar then this scalar triple product should be equal to zero. That means we can write for these three vectors to be coplanar we have the scalar triple product which is a1, A, B and C should be equal to 0. Now this is the sufficient and necessary condition for three non-zero and non-balanced vectors which are A, B and C to be coplanar. Next we are going to discuss the properties of scalar triple product. The first property says that the scalar triple product is independent of the positions of dot and cross. That is the vector product of A and B vector with the dot product of C is equal to the scalar product of vector A and the vector product of vector B and C. Thus, we can see that the scalar triple product is independent of the position of the dot and cross, where dot signifies the dot product and cross signifies the vector product. Next, we have another property in which the scalar triple product of three vectors is unaltered if the cyclic order of the vectors remains unchanged. That is, A into vector B into scalar product of vector C is equal to the cross product of vector B and C which is multiplied by 
vector a in order to obtain its scalar product and this is equal to the scalar product of vector product of c and a and vector b next we have that the scalar triplet product changes in sign but not in magnitude when the cyclic order is changed that is if we have three vectors let's say vector a vector b and vector c then the scalar triple product of vector a b and c is equal to the scalar triple product of vector c b and a and this is equal to the scalar triple product of vector b c and a this means that the magnitude of the three vectors remains unchanged even if we change the order of the vectors the next property says that the scalar triple product vanishes if any two vectors are equal which means that if we evaluate the scalar triple product of the vectors which are vector a vector a and vector b then its scalar triple product is equal to 0 similarly the scalar triple product of vector b vector b and some other vector let's say a would also be equal to 0 next property is that the scalar triple product vanishes if any two of its vectors are parallel or collinear that means if we have three vectors let's say a b and c which are non zero vectors and let's say a is parallel to b which implies that vector a is equal to the product of a scalar quantity by the vector b and thus we can say that the scalar triple product of vector a b and c can be written as by replacing vector a by the product of the scalar and the vector b then we have vector b and vector c now we can rewrite this as the cross product of x into vector b with vector b into dot product of vector c now the vector product of this is equal to 0 and the dot product of 0 with c would be a null vector which is equal to 0 thus the scalar triple product of this of these three vectors where two vectors which are a and b are parallel to each other have the scalar triple product as 0 next we are going to deal up with some problems based on the scalar triple product now here we have a problem in which we are required to find the value of lambda which makes the vectors given three vectors coplanar now for coplanarity we have already discussed that the scalar triple product should be equal to 0 that we can say that for coplanarity these three vectors which are vector a vector b and vector c the scalar triple product which is of vector a vector b and vector c should be equal to 0 thus we evaluate the value of the scalar triple product to find the coplanarity of these three vectors thus we have the determinant whose first row consists of the elements of vector a which are 1 minus 1 and 1 the second row consists of the elements of vector b which are 2 1 and minus 1 and third row consists of the elements of vector c which are lambda 1 and lambda for these three vectors to be coplanar the magnitude of this determinant must be equal to 0 thus we evaluate this determinant and 
we have the value as 1 into lambda plus 1 plus 1 into 2 lambda plus lambda plus 1 into 2 minus lambda equal to 0. On simplifying, we have the value of lambda equal to minus 1. Thus, lambda must have a value of minus 1 so that the given three vectors are coplanar. With this, we conclude this lecture based on the scalar triple product of vectors.